And the input here is 44, 38, 24, 55, 16, 14, 85. Only numbers, right? Seven numbers here. And then step one to step six have been given. I'm assuming that step six is the last step. I mean, since the directions have not been given here, we can just uh, take it for granted that the regular directions are applicable here. Like given below is an input line of numbers, which when fed into a machine gives a desired output using a step-by-step -step process. So that step-by-step -step process has been explained here. Now you all know that the first step in machine input output is to look at the last step and try to identify the logic. Now when you look at the last step, what do you find? 6, 3, 4, 3, 6, 2, 6. Now this should, you know, blow up your mind. I mean, at least uh, half of us will be like shocked what's happening here because the input word uh, had, had some other numbers 44, 38, 24, 55, 16, 14, 85. And these numbers have now been finally changed to, you know, 6, 3, 4, 3, 6, 2, 6, etc. So directly by looking at the last step and trying to, trying to identify the logic would not help here. See, why do we say that look at the last step directly, step 6 in this case? Because step 6 will tell you what is your desired output, right? And you will try to identify the logic there, increasing order, decreasing order, alphabetical order, reverse alphabetical order, etc. But here that's not the case. Something is happening during the whole process itself. So let's go step by step. Now what do you see in step 1? See input was this, 44, 38, 24, 55, 16, 14, 18. In step 1 itself the numbers have got changed, right? In step 1 itself you find that the numbers have been changed. What happened here? The point is, we have taken the digital roots of each of the given numbers in the input. 44, you know what is the digital root, right? Add the digits to get a single digit number. So 44, 4 plus 4 is 8. Like for example, 55, 55 is 5 plus 5, which gives you 10. But 10 again is a two digit number. So we'll add the two digits until we get a single digit number. So 55 becomes 1. Like 44 becomes 8. 55 becomes 1. So you see 55 here has become 1. So basically we are just taking the sum of the digits. So 8, 3 plus 8, 3 plus 8 is 11, 11 is 1 plus 1, 2, 24 is 2 plus 4, 6, 55 is 1, 16 is 1 plus 6, 7, 14 is 1 plus 5, 1 plus 4, 5, 85 is 8 plus 5, 13, again 1 plus 3, 4. So basically the digital roots of the given numbers have been taken in step 1. So that's step 1. Look at what happened in step 2. What do we do? So let me mention that step 1 is nothing but the digital root right digital root step 2 what did what did we say in step 2 8 has become 60 2 has become 0 6 has become 32 and so on now this is like usual number series type of question now i mean there's like a lot of number series is clubbed into a machine input output or a lot of coding and decoding uh, questions clubbed into a single machine input output because in each step something is happening here something different is happening now in step 2 if you observe closely what do we get the 60 is 8 squared minus 4. 8 squared 64. 64 minus 4 is 60. 2 squared minus 4. So 2 squared 4, 4 minus 4, 0. 6 squared 36 minus 4, 32. 1 squared minus 4. So 1 squared is 1, minus 4 is minus 3. Right? 1 minus 4, minus 3. 7 squared 49. 49 minus 4, 45. 5 squared 25. 25 minus 4, 21. 4 squared 16. 16 minus 4, 12. So this is basically the square of the number minus 4 right square of the number minus 4 so square of 8 is 64 minus 4 16 look at step 3 now again similar to step 1 digital roots here we have taken the digital roots again or the root digits whatever you call it 6 plus 0 0 3 plus 2 minus 3 is minus 3 4 plus 5 9 2 plus 1 3 1 plus 2 3 now what happens in step 4 6 has become 7, 0 has become 4, 5 has become 14 and so on. So what is happening? So if you see this is what is actually like, uh, you know, number series or coding and decoding. 6, 0, 5, minus 3, 9, 3, 3. These numbers have changed to what? 7, 4, 14, 13, 34, 39, 52. Now try to check the differences. What is the difference? 1, 4, 9, 9. Minus 3 and 13, what's the difference? See, like 6, 7 minus 6 is 1, 4 minus 0 is 4, 14 minus 5 is 9, 13 minus of minus 3 becomes 13 plus 3, which is 16, 34 minus 9 is 25, 39 minus 3 is 36, 52 minus 3 is 49. So what do you find here? 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49. All these are 
squares one square two square three square and so on so that's that's what is happening right step four has been explained here step four has been explained here in this whole box right step five again digital roots no not digital roots sorry step five is not digital root what happened in step five 7 15 4 12 14 22 oh plus 8 right 7 plus 8 4 plus 8 14 plus 8 13 plus 8 34 plus 8 39 plus 8 52 plus 8 so this is like plus 8 plus 8 and step 6 is the digital root again 1 plus 5 6 1 plus 2 3 2 plus 2 4 2 plus 1 3 4 plus 2 6 and so on so this is the digital root okay i think that is the process is that clear to all of you so each step here so it is not like a regular machine to good question right a very interesting one posted by pallavi you can expect such questions in your exam now right you've already realized that anything can happen right the most certain thing in bank exams or competitive exams is uncertainty so if something like this is asked you must not be surprised again if you are expecting a shortcut or a technique to solve such questions i'm sorry it's like coding and decoding right is there a method to solve questions from coding and decoding no you either get it or you don't get it i mean it all depends on the logic so here if you get the logic in each of the steps then it's easy so it is it is not truly an input output question where we move numbers or words here and there to get the desired output it is actually converting each number to a different number using some process so which can be you know digital root or square of the number minus four or you know number plus one square number plus two square and so on or adding eight to the number etc do the same thing for the given input the given input here is 23 61 15 and so on right so step by step process you can follow and get the answer okay now you may or may not get this logics these these all these logics in the exam so give it a shot maybe about uh, 20 25 seconds or maybe close to one minute because this is a five marks question right so you can try spending about a minute if you think it is not taking you anywhere just skip and move to the next one right spending time on such questions in the exam can be risky so i would say skip if you are unable to crack the logic in like first 30 35 40 seconds just skip and move to the next question okay i hope we don't have to apply the whole process for the given input right pallavi and all others can do it uh, themselves okay shall we go for the next one let me just read out if there are any yeah okay sumit kumar has already given the output sumit kumar says that the output should be three three four three two four six yeah so could be let, let me just check the output for the first number right i mean i will not do it for all the numbers but for the first number so what happens in step one it becomes five in step two it becomes 21 in step three it becomes three in step four it becomes four in step five it becomes 12 in step six it becomes three yes 23 will give you three as the output so check from the options instead of doing the whole thing see the uh, the smart method here is once you have understood all this don't solve the complete question because here you know that it's not about movement if it is about moving numbers here and there then you may have to do the complete solution but every number will follow the same process at the same position see 44 will remain in position number one always and you'll get the output so 23 will give you three just check how many options i've got uh, first number as three right if there's only one option then you're lucky mark that as the answer and go to the next one let's do for 61 also quickly 61 so 7 45 9 uh, 9 plus 4 13 13 plus 8 21 21 will give you three again i'm, I'm doing it mentally i'm assuming i've not missed any of the steps right 15 will give you what uh, 6 uh, 6 then 32 32 is 5 5 plus 9 is 14 22 and 4 35 will give you what 8 60 I think the, the advantage is one thing that we are missing here is yeah no I think we cannot do that yeah 35 will give you yeah, yeah sorry i think the advantage that we have is 35 you see in step one i'll tell you one more smart approach here 35 the sum of this uh two digits is eight that means see here 44 gave us eight 
वेदर फोर्टी फोर गिव्स एट और थर्टी फाइव गिव्स एट और फिफ्टी थ्री गिव्स एट और सेवेंटी वन गिव्स एट और सेवनटीन गिव्स एट वंस यू गॉट एट इन स्टेप वन ऑफ दिस इनपोर्ट द रिमेनिंग प्रोसेस विल बी सेम देर वोट बी ए चेंज राइट ओके देर विल बी ए चेंज सॉरी सॉरी होल्ड ऑन आई थिंक देर विल बी ए चेंज द चेंज विल बी इन स्टेप फोर बिकॉज इन स्टेप फोर द पोजिशन मैटर्स या इन स्टेप फोर द पोजिशन मैटर्स यू हैव टू बी वेरी केयरफुल You have to be very careful. Yeah. See, I was thinking that these are all independent of their positions, but position is also important. So in step four, what happens? See, we have got thirty-five. It gives you eight. Eight becomes sixty. Sixty becomes six. Until step three, it is fine. But six will be added to what? Six will be added to sixteen, because it is in the fourth position, right? So four square. So twenty-two. After twenty-two, it becomes thirty. After thirty, it becomes three. Trust I have not missed any of the steps, right? So three, three, four, three for the first four numbers, and then just move on, right? So you can do the others also, right? Let me quickly check fifty-four. Fifty-four is nine, then eighty-one minus four seventy-seven, then seventy-seven is five. Five will give you thirty. Thirty gives you thirty-eight. Thirty-eight gives you two. Seventy-five. Seventy-five gives you three. Three becomes five. Five becomes five. Remains five. Then five plus thirty six forty one plus eight forty nine. Forty nine gives you four. Eighty five. Eighty five is four. Then twelve. Then three. Then one two three four five six seven right three. Yeah. So three plus forty nine, which is fifty two. Then sixty and then six. So I hope all of you have got the same thing, huh? Three, three, four, three, two, four, six. 